We have been checking FlightAware's misery map today, and so far, this is the jackpot, if you want to call it that. Here at LaGuardia Airport, they have the most canceled flights out of the three major airports in our area. Last check, there were 60 that were not getting off the ground today. Tomorrow, cancellations have already been posted as well, so unfortunately, things are only going to get worse before they get better. A bomb cyclone of snow and ice moving across the country right now, threatening to implode holiday travel plans across the country. It's been terrible, actually. This is not how you want to spend the holidays. With over 110 million people traveling over the next few days, the first major winter storm of the season is expected to impact nearly 200 million in some way. We've been monitoring the, the travel concerns for the past couple days since we heard the blizzard is going uh, to Minneapolis, where we're heading. While it's going to be wind and rain for us, it's snow and ice in the Midwest. Already, over 1,100 flights nationwide have been canceled today. Southwest alone grounding 500 planes today and Friday. Many of the major airlines are waiving change and cancellation fees, but travelers are finding out that getting off the ground is proving to be a bit tricky. Checked our flight, you know, five this morning and headed to the airport. And then when we got here, um, we found it was canceled. Not only the airlines, but Amtrak and Greyhound are both canceling dozens of routes due to the weather as well. I was going to go Friday, but I was too nervous and they told me to leave today. But the vast majority of people will be driving 50 miles or more to their destination. And while the worst weather is expected to pass by us tomorrow, then we're in for the big chill locally with North Pole type temperatures delivered for Christmas. And at this point, if you are headed to the airport for a flight today or tomorrow, the airlines are suggesting that you sign up for text alerts or you can download their app as well. That way you get real time information about the flight status to see if you are delayed or even worse, if your flight is canceled so you can rebook before getting all the way here to the airport.